Okay, this is for hooking up the monitor to a channel on uh, a Studio Live AR16 USB PreSonus soundboard. So let's get a little bit familiar with a few of the pieces that you're going to need to know about. First off, I'm just going to deal with one channel here, which is channels 11, 12. These two cables right here, it's a stereo cable that goes to a uh, keyboard. So that's channels 11 and channel 12, and it's on this strip right here on the board. This slider down here is primarily for the house sound, so this has nothing to do with the monitor. It only has to do with the house sound. What does control the monitor are these two um, knobs here, and they say aux on them, so that tells you that, that is for the monitor. I put them in what's called Unity, this U here, that's kind of a center point on any kind of um, sound that you're working with on a board. If you put things to Unity, then you kind of know that you can go up or down quite a bit on that particular slider or knob. Anyway, um, over here on the right side of the board are these two Monitor 1, Monitor 2, or as they called it over there, AUX. Auxiliary. These sliders here, I don't have them on Unity because I played with the sliders and with the volume on the speakers themselves. So I have them set about uh, two thirds of the way up towards Unity. So that's also, you have to have those set so that they're outputting. And where are they outputting to? On this board, you have the house speakers on these two ports up here, and you have the auxiliary or monitors on these two ports. So these quarter inch cables, an orange one and a yellow one, are where the monitor goes out. So the monitor cables go to this speaker, yellow, and to this speaker, orange. And basically, I'll turn on the board. First, that comes up, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the keyboard next, and I have the volume all the way down. Then I'm going to turn on the cables, or the, uh, the speakers, last, and when you turn things off, you do it in reverse order. You do the speakers first, then the devices, and then finally the board. At least that's how I do it. Um, so anyway, now as I turn the volume up and a little more, so there you go. The monitor is working, outputting. So if I get this thing up here, now let's turn the two sliders down on this board and a little more and all the way down. So. Let's bring them back up. Now here on the channel itself, I've got these two knobs. So if I go, if I turn these down, I keep turning them down. So these two knobs right here, I'm turning, I'm turning things down there. So you have three places you can turn things up or down. I'm going to bring them back where they were. On the, on the channel itself, you've got these two twisty knobs. You can manage things. Here on the monitor sliders, you can manage them up or down. And finally, on the device itself, well not finally, actually there's just one other place. You can move this up and down to get more volume. It happens also my speakers have a volume knob on them right here. So, oh my gosh. How do you do all that? Well. It's a balancing act. Just bring it up, bring each one up a little bit, bring each one a little up, until finally you get the sound pretty much where you want to go. So between the knobs, the slider, the keyboards, volume knob, and the speaker knobs, you're just going to have to play with it. There's no steadfast rule, but Unity is usually a pretty good place to get your settings on your board. Um, but sometimes that overloads the speakers, so you've got to be careful because then you have no room to turn the speakers up. So there, there's 
There's no real steadfast rule. I hope this helps for setting up boards. Um, it would be the same thing with a, um, um, a Mackie Pro 16 board. I've got the same kind of board, and it's got exactly the same setup with exactly the same words and exactly the same places for everything. So this PreSonus Studio Live AR16 board is exactly the same as a Mackie Pro 16. Um, I don't know how I ended up with two boards. All right.